Welcome to D-Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you an economical replacement filter cap for the National 300 receiver. Here we go. So when you turn on your NC300 AF gain all the way down, we just turn around. Take a listen to the speaker. So did you hear that hum when I first turned it on? That's a filter cap. It's not totally bad, but it's leaking. So where is that filter cap? Luckily, the NC300s are like a car, right? You can open up the hood. Take a look down in there. There he is. That's the original. This is your 5Y3 rectifier 4H4C current regulator. Power transformer back there, so you can see it's fairly easy to get to wide open. So I'll pop it out of the cabinet. We're going to change the filter cap. So word of precaution, before you slide the chassis out of the cabinet, make sure that this band drum is turned all the way to where the back of these lights are facing up. That way when you pull it out, the plastic drum does not hit this upper rib of the cabinet. Otherwise you can damage it. I've seen many of these cracked. I'm sure that's what's happened. Here's the cap that we're changing. It's C62. It's got three sections. Two 40s here in the power supply right off the 5Y3. Third section is over here off of the audio output tube cathode to ground. So this voltage here is fairly low. So for the heck of it, what I'd like to do is measure the voltages before I change the cap and after so we can see if the DC voltage goes up as the AC voltage is going down, right, with a fresh cap. So I turned her on. Peter didn't like that, did it? There we go. Just settling down, pulling the current. So that is section A right off the filter cap. Okay. Go over here to B. About 177. And then C is only 7 volts. So now we know where we're at. Let's change the cap and see what we end up with. So there's the original cap sitting down there on the chassis. It's pop riveted in. Now you can buy these original replacements. They're like 45 bucks, pretty pricey. Or you can put in the little D Lab substitute, which is radio caps soldered on a tube socket. You can build this for about five bucks and does just as good a job as the original. So you can see we have a lot of room here to work in. Shouldn't be a big deal at all. Make sure the filter cap is discharged. And then I simply come in here with wire cutters and I snip off the terminals off of the cap at first. That way I maintain as much lead as possible. Then we'll get the mechanical cap out of there, mount the new one, and land these wires back to the new terminals. So I have the old cap unwired. I broke the ground tabs so it should come right out. And the new one is going to go right in its place. I have to do a little trimming add some holes to mount these tabs, but she'll pop right in. It's always a good idea on these vintage receivers and transmitters to change the filter capacitors. Don't leave them in. They're already over 50 years old. They're going to affect the performance of your receiver. And if this old cap had gotten leaky enough, it could have damaged the power transformer, which is very hard to find. So to make installation as close to original as possible, I removed the mounting plate from the bottom of the old filter cap, which used to sit here, and I mounted it to my new little tube socket filter cap assembly. So I simply tack soldered the socket on top. This will come in from underneath. Also, the little ground runner now 
hooks right to the plate just like the original. So let's get her mounted up and wired. There she is all wired up. I added some little ground lugs here for these two caps that they had tied across the AC line coming in to give them their ground connections again. Other than that, all the other wiring dropped right back into place where it used to be. There's a new cap installed topside. Yeah, it's not the prettiest vintage looking thing in the world, but functionality wise, it's perfect for the NC300. So for the fun of it, let's check the old filter cap. So this should be 40 microfarads, pretty close. This should also be 40, a little low. This should be 20, quite high, very strange. All right, I've made sure that all the contaminants are out of it. Should be safe to fire up. We're gonna remeasure those three voltages. Remember, I just have a dummy load right now for the speaker. All right, so that's section A, we'll call it. Here is B, and here is C. So it looks like all the voltages are pretty much the same. Now let's see what we got for hum level. All right, so here we go, same test. I've got the AF gain all the way down. I'm just gonna turn on the power, see what the hum level is coming out of the speaker. Barely audible. Bring up my volume a little bit. Nice and clean. Good to go. So this economical filter capacitor replacement that I just showed you is completely at your option. You can spend the money on that replacement original type cap if you wish, or you can put this little guy in and it does the same job. Choice is yours. Hope you enjoy the video. Yeah, the uh, referee at the fight, he had a beard, right? And his beard was braided and two pigtails, and it came down below his waist. 